Hi, everybody. Hello, hello, my darlings. <gasps> Are you ready for the lean? Hi, honey. Hello. <laughs> I love it so much. Hi. Mm. Oh my God, I kind of I kind of look like I have my tongue out. Wait. <laughs> what, what is that? You know the little the little tongue out on the on the it's a, it's a really uh popular kind of uh I forget the name of it. I'm actually biting my lip. Zinkwe <laughs> ya prime currency and cashes. <gasps> How the heck? Did you know if you link your you, Amazon what's up? to if you link your Twitch to your Amazon Prime, you can get a Prime sub and give it to Zentrea right now? Did you know that? Is that how it works? It is how it works. It is exactly how it works. Well, then use it on Mata at twitch.tv slash Matarakan. Slash Zentrea. Listen, I already have the bigger breasts. Close I don't enough. need the extra Prime subs. Zint small breasted okay, Zentrea here. <laughs> Needs the sun. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> I still have a Game Boy col color. Um, I guess I could I could share the story from from many many moons ago. So I had a Game Boy color, and a Game Boy Advance, and uh, you know I, I mean I think this is kind of normal for everybody. Where luck? Okay, so the Game Boy Advance you can play a Game Boy color. I also had a Nintendo DS. Like I, I had it all. Well, maybe not all. So. You can play a lot of Game Boy Color games on your Game Boy Advance. So years, years, years ago, we're actually talking years, years, years ago. My flesh father said uh, if he could basically he wanted to send my um, Game Boy Color to like some distant relative in Ukraine, right? Something like that. And I said, yeah, sure, you know, because I can play the games on the Game Boy Advance. But he ended up sending all the games as well. The Game Boy Color games. And uh, I was like, no, I was playing my Game Boy Color games on my Advance. I don't even think they're actually like really distant cousins because I, I, I have a very small family tree. The woman whose body I live in, there's there's very any very barely any family. But I, I remember, yeah, being upset about it. And because of that, I lost my Pokemon YOLO. That's awesome. I mean, you know, it's nice to own your games. Uh, you know, we're not we're not going to get into a discussion about that because I know that's, you know, um, <laughs> uh, without going into too much detail. I forget which company said that the other day. Was it Ubisoft or something? Allegedly. And they were like, um, you don't own your games, you know. It's a privilege to own your games. You're just renting your games. And everybody was like, wait a second. I want to own my game. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of like allegedly, allegedly. It was like you, you, you will not own the game and you will be happy. Yeah, it was, of course, taken out of context and the Internet blew on fire. But we apparently don't own our Steam games either. Right. You do up until Steam's like, ah, I'm good. But back then, right, if you remember your Game Boy Color boxes, your um, your Game Boy Color boxes and your Game Boy Advance boxes and stuff like that, you know, please have a cider for me. My parents are having um, champagne. Well, cheap champagne. And you know what they said? It's hard living with them. When I was when I went upstairs before, they said, hey, would you like a glass? And I said, no, you know, I'm trying to drink less. And even having a glass, it's going to make me want a second one and a third one. But they always offer. You know what's funny? They offer me alcohol more now that I that I try not to drink versus before when I drank, they never offered. <laughs> we tend to have a big meeting like every month or so. Can't you pack during the meeting? Um, No, I want to be present and listen to the meeting. And like, you know, it's very rare that we have a lot of folks there at the same time. It's I guess it's different, right? If you're at a job that you don't like and you have a meeting, you use the meeting as an excuse to do your work. But for me, the meeting is an excuse to like see Gun Run again and talk to, you know, talk to everybody. I like the meeting. That's I'm excited about it. 
seems like there's been lots of meetings. No, everybody has. Indiv- so, you know, I, I think I can I can speak about myself. Uh, you know this because Kuro and I talked about it. So we have a meeting with our manager and uh, I request mine every week because <laughs> it's fun for me to catch up with them. I like talking to them. I like knowing what my plans are, what their plans are. I like to kind of check in. Um, remember when I when I had a talk with Kuro, he does his every two weeks and he was like, wait, why do you want to talk to your managers more than once every two weeks? I'm like, wait, you don't talk to your manager every week. <laughs> I DM my manager all the time. I'm always messaging them. I, I, I technically have like two now because they're they're helping each other out. But, um, I, I like talking to them. They're cute. So, what is everybody up to tonight, Friday night? Anything fun? Anything cool? You feel like my breasts got bigger? Impossible. They were always this big. I'm going to tell you something and you let me know. So my my pals that are more introverted. So a lot of my really close life friends tend to be as extroverted as me or at least very kind of girl boss, you know, guy boss, girl boss. But sometimes I, I work with people or I know people that may be a lot more shy. And when I tell them this stuff, they just kind of look at me like, huh? So let me ask you this. I... I if I was in Japan right now, okay, and I saw that Onigiri did a workout stream at someone's house and they have a home gym and they're, they're close to Onigiri, I would probably just be like, hey, I'm sorry. You're a friend of my friend. Can I come work out at your house like twice this week? I, you know, I would really love that. And the worst they can say is no. And when I say that to my introvert friends, they're like, oh, God, that's so awkward. That's so weird. Why would you do this? And I'm like, but I feel like as a workout person, they get it. They get it, right? Like, I know you all panic hearing that because you're introverts. But like as an extrovert that works out, you'd be like, oh, hell yeah. Come over. No. If somebody tells me no, I don't treat it like a personal rejection. It's just a no. If um if I'm out in the street and somebody says, can I get your number? And I say, no, that's it. It just that's no, I, I don't want to get to know you. Sorry, buddy. It's not that bad. Just like if somebody goes, no, actually, I don't feel comfortable with you coming over to my house to work out. OK, you're you're right. Cool. I feel attacked. Why? I'm sorry. Imagine you're working out at your home gym and I teleport behind you. <laughs> Nothing personal, kid. Thank you.